Ben Jenny, we're at the Eastern Kentucky University and we're here to see Jerry Seinfeld, but we know we won't be able to record inside uh, the theater. So we're here and we're gonna look around the campus and uh, so far the campus is uh, beautiful from what we've seen and uh, we're gonna take a look around. All right, and this is the Turner Gate. Enter these gates with humility, acquire knowledge to gain wisdom, depart these gates with confidence, live life with passion and purpose. That's so cool. That is very, very cool. Yes, indeed. They have knowledge. They have wisdom. And on the other side, they have purpose. and passion. All right, they have a walkway here. It's very impressive for the EKU, Eastern Kentucky University. And their colors look to be a burgundy and white. Very nice. And we're gonna take a walk into the crosswalk <laughs> There's a lot of steps or what? All right. Oh, this is very nice. It's very nice, yeah. And this is inside the cross walk. Oh. It's very pretty. And it says Eastern Kentucky along these sides here. And these are the windows. And there's the traffic. And you got traffic here. Very, very nice. And it leads over to what looks to be another parking lot. Very, very beautiful campus. Eastern Kentucky University. All right. It's pretty nice. <laughs> and we have a marker here that says Eastern Kentucky University. Normal school dropped from the name in 1930. In 1948, it became Eastern Kentucky State College. University status was granted in 1966. The institution stands today as a comprehensive university. It treasures its heritage as a school of opportunity and prepares its students for leadership roles in many careers and professions. All right, we have a statue of Daniel Boone here. It says, one Daniel Boone, 1734 through 1820, the Madison County Historical Society. And uh, this is Daniel Boone here on Eastern Kentucky University campus. I have to say, a pretty impressive statue. All right, there's a little history with the Daniel Boone statue. The statue of Daniel Boone, dedicated in 1967, was the first monumental work of an art installed on campus. The statue is an exact copy of Louisville artist Inde Rundell's 1892 work, which stands at the main entrance to Cherokee Park in Louisville. It was not long before students on the way to an exam began rubbing Boone's left toe for good luck a tradition that continues today. Now let's go take a look at that left toe. All right, and this is the left toe. You can see where they actually rub it so much. So good luck, good luck for an exam. <laughs> Daniel Boone. All right, we have a little history with the Blue Lady Ghost. For years, there have been reports that the Pearl Buchanan Theater, named in honor of longtime drama and English teacher Miss Pearl Buchanan, is inhabited by a benign spirit. Rumors of the Blue Lady, the ghost of a former drama student whose death remains unexplained, have circulated since the 1950s. Some people even claim that they have seen a blue haze around the building's clock tower 
and have heard strange and unexplained sounds in the theater. The Blue Lady Ghost. The Blue Lady Ghost. Open up your Up in this area. All right, we have the Keen Johnson building. We have the Ghost Tower. And we have Daniel Boone statue. And there is Jenny Sue. All right, now I think we actually found the heart of the campus. So we're gonna go down and take a look at the uh, water, water fountain they have here. All right, we have a uh, fountain here, and it says R. Smith Park Professor and Chairman, Department of Mathematics, 1923 to 1967. And I must say, this is a very, very beautiful campus. So here at Eastern Kentucky University, they're having the homecoming, mm -hmm. October 20th through October 22nd. Today is October 20th. Yeah. So, and I believe it's what, a Thursday? Yeah, so they're having different types of events right here. So, yeah, and that's why a lot of kids are on campus. All right, and they're having a corn roast, and there's a lot of activity on campus right now. And they're making these little banners and they're hanging them down. And it looks like they're gonna have Zips and Zombies Tuesday, October 25th on campus. Fright Nights. And this is the Recreation Center. And it is really, really, really nice. They have tennis, basketball, swimming. Um, pretty much anything you wanna do here. And we spoke to a lady and she said it's, it's beautiful inside. And they have a Big E for Go Big E. All right, one of the prettiest buildings that I've seen on campus in the outlay here with the trees and the collar of the leaves falling, very nice. This school is absolutely beautiful. And this is the library here on Eastern Kentucky University. I really enjoy architecture, so this is a uh, this is very pretty. They have big pillars out front here. Very nice. And here is another absolutely wonderful building on campus. Like I've said in other videos before, you have to actually get out on foot to really appreciate the architecture. And this one just says university building. Not sure exactly what it's for. And they have a wonderful plaque out here. It's way too long to read, but it is it is really neat to see. So, but it does say Central University founded 1874. And it says Central University, Richmond, Kentucky was the product of the Civil War and its subsequent conflicts. Very nice. And this is another shot of campus here. And um, very peaceful, very nice. And this is Miller Hall. And the brickwork is really, really nice. And this actually opens up And this is a little information on Richard White Miller, state representative, 1904 to 1906. Very nice, yeah. And me and Jenny actually don't know exactly where we're at. We just kind of get out and wander around, so. 
you know, I'm sorry I'm not too informative on uh, Eastern Kentucky University. This really wasn't the purpose we came here. Of course, we're here to see Jerry Seinfeld, but it's a delight to be uh, walking on the campus right now. And on campus here, they have like a little outdoor theater, it looks like. And uh, you have these rock formations here that you actually set on. And uh, looks very, very interesting and fun. And I'm going to assume these rocks are quite old from the looks of it. And this was erected in 1962 through 1963. And this is up on the stage, I guess you could say, looking out at the concrete seating. Very, very beautiful campus here, unbelievable. And this is erected for Mr. Van, I do believe. Uh, he was in the Department of Music and he actually worked here, I guess, for 35 years. Wonderful. Perhaps didn't feel like work to him. So these are blocks for the old <laughs> Missed it. We got two fighting squirrels out here. Look at this one go. What is this one for? <laughs> and Jenny found a tree that she likes, so leaves are all falling to the to the ground. Pretty out here. Beautiful place. Alright. <laughs> Very pretty. Not really sure where we're at, but we're on mm -hmm. campus somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Can't see my feet. <laughs> there you be. All right. Happy fall. Happy fall. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these leaves. It is falling so much. Beautiful campus. Alright, we're approaching the Alumni Coliseum, Eastern Kentucky University. United we stand, divided we fall, 1906. And it says, Go Big E. And they got some flags out here. And back over that way is the Center for the Arts. All right, the Eastern Kentucky University has a welcome center. And this is the part of the Coliseum, the side part of the Coliseum here. And I must say it's a very, very nice campus. Very nice. And they have a statue out here. Not sure who it's actually by, but that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, and that's Armstrong. And we have the statue here. Very impressive, very nice. And this is the EKU baseball field. And it is beautiful. Very, very beautiful baseball field.
And this is the Earl B. Combs Stadium. And the baseball field is absolutely beautiful. All right, and Jenny has found a plaque. All right, and we have Earl Brian Combs, New York Yankees, 1924 to 1935. And it looks like he was a leadoff hitter and center fielder of Yankee Championships of 1926, 27, 28, and 32. And this is a closer look at the football stadium here at EKU. From a distance it didn't look that big but when you're walking up to it it's good size. Pretty big. And this is called the CG Bank Field. Whoa. Oh my goodness. A lot of beautiful birds flying around right now. Amazing. All right, that was Eastern Kentucky University, and we're here to see Jerry Seinfeld. We uh -huh. knew we couldn't record inside there, so we decided to record uh, around school. campus and uh, do a little bit of that. So uh, the school is absolutely beautiful, mm -hmm. pretty place. The kids are really, really nice. I mean, the ones we ran into, really nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, very nice place. Yep. So. This this school has a lot of old Midwestern style decor, which is from a long time ago. It was left for a long time. So I think it's really nice. Good. 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 Good.